Question nine. In 1971, biologists moved five adult pairs of Italian wall lizards from their small home island of Copisti, could be saying that totally wrong, to the neighbouring small island of Mur... I don't know, there's missing vowels as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I would just get it wrong. Which did not have a lizard population. On their return in 2005, the second island was found to have a large population of the, the wall lizards, uh, confirmed by genetic analysis, with significantly larger heads and a greater bite force than the lizards from the first island. Their digestive systems were also found to contain microorganisms that assist in the breakdown of plant cell walls. The summer diets of the two lizard populations are shown below. Okay, um, and we've got the proportion of the total food mass, um, and we've got plant material here and here, uh, arthropods, and the third one is other. Okay. Describe the most significant change in the summer diet of the lizards on the second island. It's got to be this. Okay, you basically have got a much, much greater proportion of plant matter, um, which, you know, shouldn't surprise us when we're talking about digestive systems were also found to contain microorganisms that assist in the breakdown of plant cell walls. And then they also said they had a greater bite force. Okay. Explain how the information supports the conclusion that the changes to the lizard population on the second island were the result of natural selection. Okay. So, well, everything I just said there. <laughs> um, so we've got our microorganisms. And our bite force. So we're looking for something like that um, has increased... And because that's increased, they would have a greater chance of survival. Which would then be passed on. And we've got that progression. Okay. Um, so each, each time that you have an improvement to survival chance, then you have greater fitness. And the greater the fitness is, the more likely it is to pass on. That's basically what we're looking at. Evolution of the lizards on the second island occurred very rapidly. State one factor that can increase the rate of evolution. Okay, what I'm expecting is short generation time. Because that is going to have a direct impact on, obviously, how quickly you can go through your your pushes. Okay, your your survival kind of issues um, but you're also expected to know that temperature has an impact on mutation rate um, and mutation rate is affected by obviously affects um, how much variation you produce which will affect evolution so either of those would be good um, and if possible a horizontal gene transfer would increase because you would have um, changes within the generation um, and you could even say if you had sexual reproduction because sexual reproduction is increasing variation as well um, as opposed to asexual reproduction within things like um, bacteria um, and that's it any any reasonable one and there's quite a list okay the study involved taking two representative samples sorry study involved taking representative samples of the lizard populations on the two islands state one feature of a representative sample. So this is a straight KU point out of your organisms and evolution um, section of field stuff. Okay. Um, so basically we're looking for something which is has the same variation as the whole population. Okay, and if it has the same variation as the whole population, then you can extrapolate from the representative sample to the entire population. But this also means if they have the same variation as the whole population, that will mean that they have the same mean. Okay. And either of those was taken as, as reasonable for the Mars scheme. Um, and that's it.